Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel for another video and today we are finally going to be checking out the song that so so many of you have been requesting. The song is Popular Monster, the band is falling in reverse. I can't wait to get into it momentarily here, but just before we do, this video is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. Introducing Raid Shadow Legends. Raid is a turn-based RPG done right. We know you've all already heard about Raid everywhere and there's a great reason for it. Raid currently is one of the top three ranked RPGs on the Google Play Store and it has just been nominated as a finalist for a Google Play Best of 2019 User Choice Award. This game is crazy popular and they've had almost 15 million downloads in the last six months alone. This game is an epic dark fantasy RPG that is turn-based with over 400 champions for you to collect, personalize, and play Yes. Discover 13 spectacular locations, enjoy a fully voiced story campaign, and claim glory in the PvP arena. And you know what the best part is, Lindsay? What's that? This game is completely free! Here are some other neat features the game has to offer. First, the game has a function called multi-battle auto mode. You can set the game to battle for you while you do something else. This cuts down on the amount of time that you have to spend grinding so you can spend more time doing fun activities with your team. Wyatt, show us the mode. Huh? What? Oh, sorry, Lindsay. I just can't put this game down. Here's what multi-battle auto mode looks like. Second, the game host weekly tournaments and events, fighting in the arena, running special dungeons, or just leveling up your heroes. There's always a new and exciting way to compete and win extra prizes every single week. The game is growing super fast. Look, check out this cool roadmap that they've published. They actually have huge plans for updates in the game over the next six months. A new faction, a tag team arena, and even a new clan boss you'll be able to fight with your clan. No way you'll get bored. Guys, you could all get online, get on the game, find me under the name Whispers, and then make sure to apply to my guild titled Stick Tricks. So what are you waiting for? Go to the video description, click on the special links, and you'll get 50,000 silver. Whoa, that's a lot of silver. And a free epic champion as part of the new player program to start your journey. No way. Yes way. Good luck, and we will see you all in Raid Shadow Legends. All right, Lindsay, how stoked are you on checking out this song? Very stoked. Why? Very stoked. Are you, Mostly, following, are you a big following of Virtual? I mean, listen, it's going to be so dated and like almost dumb for me to talk about, but Escape the Fate <laughs> with Ronnie was my... Can I say shit? Yeah, sure. Was my shit forever. You made it awkward though. You're like, I know. I, I know I made it awkward. I, I, felt, I almost feel bad swearing on camera. But okay, listen, when Ronnie was in Escape the Fate, I was obsessed with it. That was like my whole thing. Like that whole record, like yeah, Dying Zulay's fashion was everything to me. So like I've, and then he went to jail and then he got out and I was doing this. And I've always been trying to sort of like follow it and get into it because it's Ronnie. I dug that so much. But then like now he's like rapping now and it's a little weird for me. I don't know. So I'm just kind of like open-minded, seeing where it goes. Very curious. I'm also mostly excited because people have been hyping it so much. I heard that this song is like a little bit darker. Okay, that's dope. Like there's rap. I was told there's rap, but it's like supposed to be a little bit darker. And like, here's that the was, thing. That was the message I got. I like- Multiple, many, many times in my Instagram. Right. Follow me on Instagram. And, and I <laughs> I love rap rock. That's like my thing. Obviously, as you guys know, if you follow the channel, my like favorite genre ever basically is new metal. Yeah, Papa Roach. Um, that's your jam. Oh yeah, dude, totally. And Limp Bizkit and Rage Against the Machine and all those oldies. Those are like my fave. I don't know. When Ronnie does it for some reason to me, it feels a little weird. Maybe I just need to get used to it. Maybe I need to just like be more open-minded. It's cause like the stuff that you were into, like Lincoln Park and like that early 2000s, like 2000s new metal that you got into is like a completely different style yeah. of rapping than what Ronnie's been doing doing with this project. Yeah, he's doing like 2019 like SoundCloud rapper style, but yeah. mixed with metal. I guess, sort of, yeah, sort of. Uh, I, I uh, kind of. That's kind a little of. harsh, maybe, I don't know. Maybe <laughs> in like the later, like the newest stuff, uh, it, the, the the record Fashionably Late had like a, a very different style of rap than what he's done even lately. Right. Cause you know, he's always changing it up. He's always Which is cool, evolving. I appreciate that about people. There's so many genres that this band just meshes together. Oh, the other thing too is I saw that Ronnie was actually doing, I don't know if he actually like posted on YouTube or anything, but I saw on his, uh, uh, Instagram, he was like reacting to people reacting to this song. To this song? Yeah, and it makes oh. me feel bad that we didn't get this up sooner because I would have been so blown away if he had reacted to our He could have seen reaction. us, but then yeah. maybe he would have been like, oh, fuck, this girl doesn't even care. She only likes Escape to Fate. Well, all the other times <laughs> that we've reacted to this <laughs> band, I've had like, well, I think the other times were just me, but I've had nothing but good to say. Okay, sure. And I probably will have nothing but good to say to here yeah. today if it's anything like what it's been hyped up to be because so many oh. people have been hitting me up telling me about this track. That's right. You reacted to drugs without me, but oh, I, yeah, I actually right. did really like that song. Yeah, that was a good track. That was, that was a good song. That, that was, was a fun song. music video, man. That was a fun reaction. I had a jump scare when the grandma came out. Corey Taylor was in that, right? Yeah, he was okay, in the I verse so. with the chainsaw. Okay, let's tell the people about the giveaway we're doing. So basically, it's real simple. We talked about it in the last reaction video. We're going to talk about it here again real quick. These merch shirts we've got on, you can purchase at the merch link in the description below. If you purchase anything from my merch store through the month of December, there is a chance that your packet will come with one of these guys. So this is one of the drum heads off my kit that I played, and it's got my signature on 
on it. And I'm giving away 20 of these. I've got a stack of 20 heads laying around that's just been taken off the kit over the last couple of years, just reskinning and retuning the kit. And I never threw out a bunch of the drum heads. All right. And with all that being said, the last thing I'm going to mention, if you're new here, hit the subscribe button. Well, at least if you enjoy this content, maybe you check out some of the other content on the channel. You enjoy that too. It would mean the absolute world if you hit subscribe. And now we're going to get into checking out Popular Monster by Falling in Reverse. Yeah. Yeah. I wake up every morning with my head up in a daze. I'm not sure if I should say this, fuck, I'll say it anyway. Everybody tries to tell me that I'm going Ooh. through a phase. I'm Bodies. Dramatic. Phase. I just want to feel okay. Yeah. I battle with depression, but the question still remains. Is this post traumatic stress? I like his outfit. Is this post traumatic stress? Yeah. <laughs> Words. Hollywood Undead Ooh. vibes. I like how quick the instrumental came in. Oh, chorus? No. Oh, sick. Oh, that was cool. Yeah. I liked how quick that was. Yeah. Hell yeah. What the hell? Yeah. Oh, man. Every wall that I knock down is just a wall that I replace. I'm in a race against myself. I try to keep a steady pace. How the fuck will I So far, so good. You dig this part too? Like, uh, yeah. I just, yeah. We'll I would have liked it to come back in with more instrumental, but right. I'm okay with it. The rapping's cool. This is like my favorite version of him rapping so far, I think. Yeah. This part right now is pretty cool. Yeah. I miss ghost riding Lambos, but that's okay. <laughs> oh, yeah! Oh, what? That's sick. Yo, the melody. Of course. Yeah, that was sick. I liked how it built. Yeah. Dope ass pre chorus, and we're back in. Ooh, the falsetto? Yeah, that was nice. That was cool. Yeah. Is this a bridge? Yeah, it's a bridge. Whoa! Holy! What? <laughs> oh my god. Okay, I feel like there's a breakdown here. I don't know. Oh my god, it's like waking the demon he's turning into a werewolf. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> you laugh when you dig it. Me? Yeah. Who said? Me? <laughs> Yeah, this is sick. Yeah, so sick. The bridge was awesome. The bridge was so much fun. Dude, that got it, so like, intense. It went really fast, really quick. So fast. And then it built up to a breakdown, which was sick. So sick. Wow. I love the chorus the most. The chorus was a ton of fun. Great chorus. I thought yeah. the melody was fantastic. What an intense video. Intense moments in the song. All right, so out of 10, what do you think? Eight? I okay, no. Know. Here's the thing. I if feel you like drop, we said eight for the last date for the date to remember track. Are we gonna so, say eight again? I think just, it was an eight. It's so hard to say after you only listen to it one time. Oh, that's true. You know what I mean? I shouldn't like, ask. I shouldn't ask out of ten. You have to listen to it like a few times. But like, here's here's my thing. If they drop the first ten seconds, I bump it up to a nine. Yeah, you just don't. You just don't do like. It's just like you and just it don't just, do a voice. It contrasts so hard with no music under it. I thought that of the. I don't know. People are gonna be hating on me in the comments for saying this probably, but. I thought that of like 
the styles of rap Roddy's gone with. Like tried out. Yeah, for the other songs that yeah. they've released since rapping was introduced in the second record. Yeah. I thought that this was the best. Okay. I thought that it fit and flowed really well. It's like it went from like just him with the talking mm -hmm. and the pads and then into like a, a rap beat that was matched in intensity when the instrumental came in and then it slid us right on into the chorus. I thought the whole intro leading of the first chorus was awesome. Right. I felt that the only part of the song that I was like, the only part of the song that it lost me a little bit was was when we came out of the first chorus mm -hmm. and it completely dropped out to the same level yeah. Uh, where we where we started the track in the intro. I felt that like I would have liked to hear they come out of the chorus and then go into where it picked up. Yeah. In the uh, build up into the pre-chorus kind of thing. I couldn't that's agree the, more. That's the only part that I was like that I didn't feel great about. But the rest of the song I thought was awesome. Yeah. I could not agree more. The rest of the song I thought yeah. was really sick. We even got a really cool style change up as this band does mm -hmm. in the uh, in the bridge, which was really sick. Yeah. I thought it was awesome. And that part where it got so fast and so intense was so sick. Yeah. That was so different and like unexpected yeah. and really neat and like his voice is so good his voice does so many different things too yeah. which is like really sick i think like the parts where he was rapping but there was instrumentals behind it gave me more of like a hollywood undead vibe which like i like them and i like that vibe a little bit more what did you think of the music video really sick it yeah, reminded me dope. of waking the demon do you remember that video both my valentine you guys oh, of course where yeah. he turns oh, okay. into a werewolf there the like, only reason you say that is because there was like a werewolf change where else is there a werewolf change in any music video i don't yeah. know has there been any Tell guys me. let us know is there any other music videos outside of popular monster and waking the demon yeah where we've seen somebody change into a werewolf Wolf. But in that video, it wasn't Matt Tuck. It was the, the yeah. character. Well, no. In and Waking this, the was, Demon, and this it was, was Ronnie. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because Matt Tuck was like busy playing like whatever band shots. And that was more of like a kid getting picked on, like lashing out. This one was more like, I don't know, himself turning into it. I feel like that's what the song's about even. Yeah, I thought that the music video did a really great job of explaining the words and the melody. Or sorry, and the, and the chorus. Like the lyrics. The lyrics. And the <laughs> title. It just, yeah. it all yeah, yeah, worked. Yeah. It was yeah, very yeah, yeah. cohesive. I feel like this was just the most solid like package that we've received from the band. Mm -hmm. since the first record. Right. And I think the biggest reason why I'm saying that is because because I missed the first record. <laughs> is that, that's the record with Drug and Me Is You? Yeah. Oh, okay, that's okay. And, uh, and the, like, uh, I'm not a vampire, but I feel like one. Sometimes <laughs> okay. I sleep all day. Cause I hate the sun. Okay, yeah, I do know what you're talking about, yeah, but that dude. was not the greatest rendition. <laughs> no, I can't sing. I'm a drummer. And I can no, barely okay. drum yeah. half the time. No. But yeah, I I like the first record that they put out the most. Yeah. Uh, just because it was closest to Escape the Fate for me. And I felt that this was like the closest to that. And right. I just thought it was awesome. Now, to be like on this contrast of that, I remember when Fashionably Late came out and I was the one kid working at Hot Topic at the time that would come into work every single day and put it on because mm. I loved it. And some of my coworkers didn't agree with it, but I didn't care. Or wait, you mean Dying is the latest fashion? No, no, no. Wait, what's Fashionably Late? Fashionably Late's the second Falling in Reverse record. Oh, I don't even know. I'm so disconnected. Oh Holy God. moly. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Yeah, dude. I dug that record. That's what it's called. It's called Fashionably Late. Yeah. That was the second record by the band. And then there was a record after that. And this is now going to be the fourth? We always do this. We always like end up making a mess of it somewhere along the lines when always we're trying somewhere. to talk about the history. Yeah, we never do our <laughs> research like we should. We kind of just always go off memory. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, okay. Those are our initial thoughts, our feelings, our reactions to the song Popular Monster. You guys have been waiting for it. I apologize that this video is so late. I got sick with strep throat and had to take a week off, which was completely unexpected. And the week that I got sick was the week that I was supposed to release this as well as the A Day to Remember reaction and some mm -hmm. others that we had planned for that time. So, but it's up and I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. The last thing I'm gonna just close out with saying is that all through December, merch store, you have a chance to win a signed drum head that I played. I beat the hell out of. We had a lot of drum heads too that I put in the stack but took out because they were in like too shitty of condition. So all of the drum heads we'll be sending out are like, they're like that. They're like, yeah. they're stick marks. But outside of that, you, you could put them on a kit and play them again if you really wanted to, but I've signed it. So you could do it with whatever you want with it yeah. at that point, up to you. So we hope you enjoyed this video merch store patreon link description below if you want to support the channel further and uh and yeah we will see you guys all very soon with something new